what can we learn about life from a wolf and a lamb? Or a stork and a fox? You'll find out in today's story. Well, hi there, Reader Adventure, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we have five stories from Aesop's Fables. The Fox and the Stork, The Woman and the Hen, The Wolf and the Lamb, Jupiter and the Bee, and the Bat and the Weasels. Remember, Aesop was a slave back in ancient Greece who wrote lots of stories, each with an important life lesson. Let's get started. The Fox and the Stork A fox one day invited a stork to dine with him, and... Wishing to be amused at his expense, the fox put the soup, which he had for dinner, in a large, flat dish, so that, while he himself could lap it up quite easily, the stork could only dip in the tips of his long bill. Hmm. Some time after, the stork, bearing his treatment in mind, invited the fox to take dinner with him he, in turn, put some minced meat in a long and narrow-necked vessel into which he could easily put his bill, while Master Fox was forced to be content with licking what ran down the sides. The fox then remembered his old trick and <laughs> could not but admit that the stork had well paid him out. The lesson, a joke is often returned with interest. The woman and the hen. A woman had a hen that laid an egg every day. The fowl was of a superior breed and the eggs were very fine and sold for a good price. The woman thought that by giving the hen twice as much food as she had been in the habit of giving. Well, the bird might be brought to lay two eggs a day instead of one. So, the quantity of food was doubled. The hen thereupon grew very fat and stopped laying eggs altogether. The lesson, figures are not always facts. The Wolf and the Lamb A hungry wolf one day saw a lamb drinking at a stream below him and wished to find some excuse for eating her. <gasps> what do you mean by muddying the water that I am going to drink? said he fiercely to the lamb. <gasps> Pray, forgive me, Mr. Wolf, meekly answered the lamb. I should be sorry in any way to displease you. But as the stream runs from you towards me, well, you see, I am not to blame. That's all very well, said the wolf. But you spoke ill behind my back over a year ago. <gasps> Nay, believe me, replied the lamb. I was not even born then. Hmm. It must have been your brother then, growled the wolf. It cannot have been, for I don't have any, said the lamb. I know it was one of your lot, rejoined the wolf. So make no more idle excuses. He then seized the poor little lamb, carried her off into the woods, and ate her. The lesson, the wicked always find an excuse for wrongdoing. Jupiter and the Bee A bee made the god Jupiter a present of a pot of honey, mm, which was so kindly taken that the god bade her to ask what she would and that it should be granted to her. The bee then desired that wherever she should set upon her sting that it might wound to the death. Jupiter was loath to leave mankind at the mercy of a spiteful little insect and was annoyed at the ill 
nature of the wish. He therefore said that while for his promise sake he would give her the power to harm, she must be careful how she used the power, for where she planted her sting, she would leave it, and with it her life. Lesson. Evil brings evil in return. The Bat and the Weasels A weasel seized upon a bat, who begged hard for her life. No, no, said the weasel. I give no quarter to birds. Birds, cried the bat. I am no bird. I am a mouse. Look at my body. And so she got off that time. A few days later, she fell into the clutches of another weasel. <gasps> the bat cried for mercy. No, said the weasel, no mercy for a mouse. But, said the bat, you can see from my wings. I am no mouse, I am a bird. <laughs> and she escaped that time as well. Lesson, it is good to have two strings to one's bow. What fun stories. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? For more Aesop's Fables, check out these other videos. Thanks for being a reader adventurer, and until our next story, happy story time. Bye.